When you walked down the aisle early today, I was absolutely blown away. You look incredible and I feel extremely lucky to call you my wife. From the moment I met you, I felt like you were the one, but I just didn't think I had a chance. <laughs> if you told me back then that one day you'd become my wife, I wouldn't have believed you. We met through athletics, training in the same group. I thought you were the most beautiful girl I'd ever seen, but as I got to know you, I realised what an amazing person you were as well. I was head over heels from the beginning. Leo and I became great friends, but there was one day that changed everything. We were both on separate family holidays in Sardinia, and our families decided to meet up for the day. We went out for dinner in the evening, and I was sat next to Leo. For the whole meal, we just talked non-stop, barely saying a word to anyone else. In our own little world, something just clicked. It's a moment I'll never forget, and I feel like that's where everything started. Even it did take another year to convince Leo to go out with me. <laughs> Andrew sees everything as an opportunity. It's so addictive to be around. We speak all the time about what's important to us in this moment. We have to keep refiguring life and, and navigating what we come across, and it's been testing, but really shown us the beauty of unconditional love, no matter how hard it gets. The truth is, we always come around to the fact that every day it's a choice, no matter your circumstance. How do you want to live and love today? He leads me on that path, this addictive path of the will to live life to its fullest, the true beauty in the small things, the will to keep making that choice. To my darling Leah, I can't believe it's finally our wedding day. I'm so excited to see how beautiful you look walking down the aisle. I've been waiting a long time for this day and just can't wait to be married to you. You're the girl of my dreams and I feel like the luckiest man alive. You mean everything to me and I'm so grateful for how unbelievably happy you make me every single day. To my groom on our wedding day, I love you more than words can say. Remember, it's just me and you up there today. I can't wait to become your wife. This, is, this truly is the happiest day of my life. Thank you for choosing me today, tomorrow, always. See you at the altar. I can't even describe how special you are. You make my life complete. I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with you. All I could ever want or wish for in this world is to have you by my side. I love you more than I can put into words. You're the love of my life, and I'm bursting with pride that soon I'll be able to call you my wife. All my love, from Andrew. This reading um, about love was read at the wedding of Mark and Jan, uh, Leah's mum and dad. <coughs> Their home and family has always been full of love and understanding of what real love means. Andrew and Leah have found it with each other. If I have not love, I gain nothing. A reading from the first letter of St Paul to the Corinthians. Earnestly desire that I your gifts, and I will show you a still more excellent way. Yeah. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. 
and if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to, be, so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Andrew Michael McCaslin, do take thee, Leah Victoria Barrow. That I, Leah Victoria Barrow, do take thee, Andrew Michael McCaslin, to be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. For better, for worse. For rich, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. May the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God who joined together our first parents in paradise, strengthen and bless in Christ the consent you have declared before the church, so that what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Good afternoon and welcome to this wonderful occasion. Those who don't know me, I think I've met most people. Uh, I'm Mark, I am the father of the beautiful bride, Leah. And I'm very pleased and proud to say, more recently, father-in-law to Andrew. Today is the perfect occasion to let you know what my opinion, in my opinion, makes Leah so special. Yes, I am biased, but I'll tell you anyway. Hopefully many of you will, knowing Leah, um, recognize some of these qualities. She's funny, sometimes unintentionally. <laughs> she's wise, she's a great listener. She's full of advice, she's strong, She's well balanced, she's supportive, she's loyal, and she gives love unconditionally. I believe she has abilities beyond her own recognition, and she grabs life with both hands and runs with it. And of course, she's beautiful inside and out.
Now, Jan, at this moment, Leah's mum, will be nodding somewhere, saying to anyone who listened to her, yes, she got all that from me. <laughs> and she did. <laughs> Leah, your mum's here today. As you can see, with the, how the weather's turned. Your mum and I are incredibly proud of the woman that you've become. We love you. Jan and I talked a lot about the kind of partner Leah would choose. And let me tell you that in Andrew, he possesses everything and more that we dared hope for. He listens, he overtly cares, he uses goodness and kind thoughts. He's always positive, unbelievably. He's compassionate, he's not afraid to show emotion or cry. And he tells Leah with love when she could possibly be rotten. <laughs> Carefully, obviously, and usually from a distance. <laughs> Therefore, proving he's wise. He is the missing piece of her live jigsaw. Welcome to the family, Andrew. We love you. So here it goes, on behalf of my wife and I. I'd like to thank everyone for coming and being a part of our special day. It means the world to have our closest friends and family with us today. I don't think anything can really prepare you for how surreal and overwhelming it is to have all your friends and family from all different parts of your life come together. The sheer volume of love and support has blown us away and we are so grateful. We wanted to be surrounded by people we love, people who've watched us grow, people who will be in our future. There are so many of you here that have influenced and supported Andrew and I and thank you for sharing this moment with us. I think it's well known that I made Andrew wait a short while before finally committing to our relationship, but it's safe to say that he's made me wait at every moment possible since. <laughs> it's one of life's mysteries as to why Andrew's relationship with timings is so strange. However, someone once told me that being a late person reflects your positivity meaning you are so positive about life that you believe you can fit more things in than there is technically time for. I'm unsure on that argument, but all I am sure of is Andrew's positivity. Many people have commented on Andrew's attitude to everything he has faced, but to witness this on a daily basis is something that's been life-changing for me as a partner and as a person. I've never known bravery like it, and I'm fortunate that I need to look no further than next to be to be truly inspired every day. He never moans about his health or the life-changing things he copes with daily, just me loading the dishwasher in the wrong formation. <laughs> so I'm glad to be here as a distraction from the big stuff. <laughs> Most of us find it hard to understand just what Andrew's been going through at this stage of his life. And I'm not just talking about the six and a half years with me, but it's halfway through a long conversation with him that you realize he's been too busy making you feel heard, validated and good about yourself that you haven't had the chance to ask about his reality. And that reflects his intentions perfectly. His longing for anyone he meets to feel their best self, comfortable and empowered is one of the many things that I admire about him. He is the best listener I've ever come across and has taught me far more about a therapeutic relationship than the psychology literature has. I can't believe I found someone who's passionate about food and coffee as I am, to the extent where Leah sometimes gets goosebumps from reading a menu. <laughs> Leah and I have been together nearly seven years. In this time, our relationship has been filled with the highest highs and lowest lows. The more we've experienced, the more I've got to know the person Leah is. She's been the reason for my happiest moments, but also been the strongest support when things get difficult. To see how she's responded to everything in my cancer has been awe-inspiring. 
the way that she'll go to the ends of the earth to find the answers and stop at nothing to make sure I'm getting the best care is incredible. She showed me the support that I didn't think was possible from a person. Leah, you light up every room you walk into with your warm and friendly nature, always trying to make others feel at ease. You have a bright and positive spirit that always makes me smile. You make me the happiest man alive, and when I'm with you, I have everything I could ever need. I love you more than I could put into words, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in raising a glass to my wife, Leah. One thing our experiences over the past few years has given Andrew and I is perspective. Having the knowledge of how precious life is, we plan to take chances, live for now, and make the most of each day. Getting married feels like the start of a new chapter for us, something to represent the bond we have forged. We have come to believe that only through the pain can you know the truest pleasures in the everyday of life, the everyday life that we once took for granted. And I'm hopeful that the life we have in front of us will be full of that and more. Andrew has all the qualities I could ask for in a husband. He is considerate, he knows his own mind, he provides warmth and security. He challenges me, but also respects and loves me for exactly who I am, a bad dishwasher loader and all. <laughs> He has supported me beyond measure in so many ways, which I'll be eternally grateful for. Today, I don't just feel like a bride, I don't just feel like a wife, I honestly feel complete. So, I want to raise a toast to my husband, my biggest inspiration, the love of my life, to Angie.